There are 30 species of clownfish in the world. They range from 7 to 17 centimeters and come in a variety of colors. Yellow, orange, red, or black with white bars or patches on them. You might be most familiar with the look of the common clownfish. That's because Marlin and Nemo from Finding Nemo were inspired by this species. Common clownfish, as well as all other clownfish, have an interesting relationship with another species in their environment. They all form a symbiotic, mutualistic relationship with sea anemones. A symbiotic relationship is a close and long-term interaction between two different species. And I call this particular one mutualistic because mutual benefits occur. It does good for both of them. An example of this is a bee and a flower. When a bee visits a flower, it receives nectar and pollen, and the flower in return is pollinated. They both gain something. So let's think about this scenario. A clownfish covered in a protective mucus lives amongst anemones with stinging, paralyzing tentacles. The bright colors of the clownfish attract a predator, which swims towards the clownfish to try to get a tasty bite. The clownfish darts into the anemone, hiding itself from that fish, while the tentacles sting it, paralyze it, and pull it into the anemone's stomach to be devoured. As the anemone breaks down its food, the clownfish gets a chance to snack on what the anemone is eating, as well as any parasites that might be living on the anemone. In this scenario, we see just how many benefits result from this relationship. The clownfish gets protection and a food source, while the anemone gets a food source and is kept clean and healthy. While they're not dependent on each other for survival, clownfish and anemones have so many reasons to coexist.